Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Student Entrepreneurship Week 2020. Continuing from the EDH Ilokota, where we're exploring entrepreneurship development in higher education with our theme, Afrotech. That's exactly what we're looking at when it comes to student entrepreneurship as well, and this week is dedicated to you. My name is Nsikin Kiza. I'm a social entrepreneur, and I'll also be your co-host for this week. Joining me in our virtual studio here is Sakumzi, all the way from PE, and I'm so glad you were able to fly up to be with us here in Joburg. How are you doing, Sakumzi? Thank you, Tiki. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sakumzi Dukwe, uh, a student entrepreneur from the University of Nelson Mandela. So thank you very much. I'm glad to join. Um, Are you excited SEW. for this week? Very excited. Me SEW too. 2020. I think it's going to be epic. It's definitely going to be epic. Um, so for all of you who are joining us live, we are streaming live through our Hoover app, and you'll be able to see everything regarding this week's event on the Hoover app. So please do go on there. If you haven't created your profile, do that. If you haven't said hi to anybody, do that. Try an icebreaker. All of those things will earn you points. So if you look at the leaderboard, you'll be able to see where are you, are you ranking, and all of that stuff. And you're, if you're trying to earn points, visit our sponsors, visit the exhibition, visit people, say hi to people, network. It is a virtual event, but we want to have those lobby conversations happening. So if you see somebody with a topic that looks interesting to you, or at a university you've always wanted to connect with, say hi to them and connect with them on that platform. And for your friends and family who weren't able to register for the event, we are streaming live via Facebook, so they will be able to catch all the happenings from there. So Kumzi, how can people engage with us on our social media? Great stuff. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it, the page is EDHE Student Entrepreneurship, hashtag EDHE, hashtag Afrotech, hashtag SEW2020. Tune in, share, like, comment. Let's make it epic. Student entrepreneurs, hola, Eita. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so you'll be able to ask all your questions within the Hoover app. If you go under the agenda, you'll be able to see which session is live at that moment, and you can ask your questions in that portion. Um, but if you're not able to, if you're joining us outside of Hoover, then please do go to our social media and ask all your questions using the hashtag SEW2020. We want to say a big thank you to all of our sponsors yes. without whom this event would not be possible. So thank you so much to Universities South Africa. Thank you so much to EDHE. Thank you to UCDP as well as thank you so much to the University of Free State, um, who unfortunately because of COVID, we could not be live from their mm -hmm. studio, um, but they have part of their team joining us live from there. And they're going to start us off with a welcome video um, as they would have welcomed us into this event for SEW 2020. Here you go. The University of the Free State is one of the oldest higher education institutions in South Africa. Established in 1904, we produce sought after under and postgraduate students in seven faculties across three campuses in Bloemfontein and in Kwakwa in the Eastern Free State. Apart from being a university that excels in teaching, learning and research, we focus on making a social impact on society. Situated in the heart of South Africa, our character of caring and diversity provides the best university experience. At the University of the Free State, we strive for academic excellence, diversity, transformation, inclusivity and innovation. We cultivate the ideal conditions for graduates to respond to the local and global market needs. Globally, there is a call for more resilient systems that can withstand regular and unpredictable changes. What does this mean? We need to decentralize within globalization by creating smaller economic modules to drive the larger industry. And who does this best? The entrepreneur, of course. At the UFS, our entrepreneurial incubator, Kofs Innovation, identifies and supports entrepreneurs. A highly skilled team assists entrepreneurs to evaluate their ideas, assess the market opportunities, and consider the long-term success of these ideas. Our three-step innovation and commercialization strategy include product feasibility, business viability, and sustainability of the enterprise. We use a multidisciplinary approach to facilitate the process from idea generation to commercialization, allowing research and business students to apply their knowledge in a real-life initiative in our incubator that caters for agribusiness in particular. On our campuses, entrepreneurial potential is abundant. For example, a liquid yeast product, geographical drone exploration, 
a sensory lab for tasting trials, and transparent solar panel development. In addition to our formal support initiative, we aim to encourage entrepreneurial skills in all our graduates by providing a holistic study and living environment. Entrepreneurship is one of our graduate attributes and we teach entrepreneurship in our unique UFSS module that is compulsory and a prerequisite for completion of a degree. Furthermore, our Department of Business Management has produced a significant number of successful entrepreneurs. Some of the core skills that we promote are creativity, compassion, commitment, curiosity and confidence. Besides all our creative arts programs, we encourage creative participation from all our students. In 2019, we hosted our very first Kufsi's Multilingual Moketi. This unique event was the first of its kind in South Africa, making the University of the Free State a pioneer in showcasing art and productions in five different languages during a single festival. With our annual Rector's Concert, UFS students, staff and alumni get the opportunity to showcase their talent and dedication. Due to the lockdown restrictions of 2020, we hosted our first virtual concert. Our many program-specific and institutional community projects offer students the opportunity to experience different ways of life and to develop compassion for those less fortunate. Some of our community projects have been running for years, whereas other interventions are shorter in duration to address a specific need. These institutional community projects include the Community Engagement Food Security Project, Family Math and Family Science, the Wealth Creation Program, and the Shimlas for Relief campaign that focuses on drought relief. Our UFS Business School encourages commitment to entrepreneurship by including it in most of the formal programs. Besides running short learning programs, the school also presents interventions to assist aspiring and established entrepreneurs. The UFS Business School also exposes different communities to economic possibilities that inspire curiosity and problem-solving skills. Various initiatives on our three campuses are aimed at boosting and strengthening our students' confidence. A student mentoring program helps first years to find their feet and undergraduate students to learn from postgraduate students' lived experiences. Additional tutoring sessions allow students to master skills with the support of a tutor and our annual three-minute thesis competition encourages a healthy drive and contest among postgraduate students. Our drive to encourage active economic participation is evident in various entrepreneurial alumni who contribute to different sectors, both nationally and abroad. Lia Mulatsedi is the founder of Lenoma Legal and was named the 2016 UFS Young Alumnus of the Year. Johan Ekstien is the founder of Agricon Pelleting and received the 2016 UFS Alumni Cum Laude Award. He was also named the 2016 Sunlum and Business Partners Entrepreneur of the Year. Landy Kick is a co-owner of Ducatulo Brickworks, the largest brick supplier in Africa. Bertus Jacobs is co-founder and chief technology officer of IoT.next and received the 2019 UFS Ambassadors Award. Ditswanelo Ramanamane is the founder of The Graduate Plug, a non-profit platform for graduates. Vian Chinner is the founder and chief executive officer of Zeno and was named the 2019 UFS Chancellor's Distinguished Alumnus of the Year. Margot Fargo, former Miss South Africa finalist and Miss Earth SA, is the founder and director of Fargo Straws. Dr. Alzebi Boertes is the owner and director of Tested Lab, a laboratory that conducts water quality testing. We are proud of our alumni and of the example they set to our students and beyond. In true entrepreneurial spirit, we have various brand extensions that function as businesses under the larger UFS umbrella. Kofsi Gear is our award-winning UFS brand merchandise shop. Kofsi Fit is a commercial gym open to staff, students and the public. And Kofsi Inn offers boutique-type guest accommodation on our Bloemfontein campus. Whether you are a visiting academic, prospective student, 
a current student, alumnus, donor or prospective donor, choosing this university will be one of the best decisions you could make. From the moment you become one of us, we will make your stay with us a memorable experience. In addition to all our offerings, we continuously aim to integrate innovation with our teaching and research objectives to foster an entrepreneurial culture at the UFS. We inspire excellence and transform lives. Thank you for that wonderful introductory video from the University of Free State. Um, it's wonderful to see such a beautiful campus. I have a little bit of FOMO because I would have loved to see it in person. It was also really nice to see all the projects that they are working on. Um, and a little later on, we're going to have a session where we'll be speaking to some of those entrepreneurs and highlighting some of the fantastic projects that they've been working on and the businesses that students have started.